So I just want to do a quick video here about printing with ABS because this is something we do quite frequently. This is my personal machine here and this is actually two IKEA cabinets that I fashioned together and then insulated. Now you don't have to go this crazy, you can use foam board and then make a box to set over your machine. The one thing I will say you should do is at the very least move your power supply out of the enclosure and then mount it to the enclosure if you have something that's more permanent like this. The reason you want to do this is because the purpose of an enclosure is higher ambient temperatures to prevent warping. Now, the enclosure is one part of it. Now, no matter what people online tell you to do, and that you can print ABS without an enclosure, you technically can, but I'm telling you right now, the proper way to do it is with an enclosure, period. Not even going to get into arguments with people. You need an enclosure because ABS shrinks as it's cooling and the enclosure slows that down so you don't get warping. So anyone in that's telling you that they can print ABS or you should print ABS without an enclosure, they don't know what they're talking about. You need an enclosure. So that's part one. Part two, like I said, put your electronics outside. Some main boards will be fine. We found the Creality ones seem to be okay inside the enclosure. Our easy boards seem to be okay inside the enclosure, but moving them outside is not going to hurt. It's not a bad idea. This machine has its main board, the stepper drivers, on the rear. You might be able to see it in the reflection, but all those are outside. So all that's inside is the ABL sensor, all the hot end parts, the motors, and the LCD screen. So now you have your enclosure, you need to print on the correct surface. So a couple of things we do here. This is our Easy Flex plate. This is actually an older version. Our new ones look a little different, but it's the same thing. This is PEI, and if you notice, there's an outline here from where a part was, and that's because on the actual plate, we've got this stuff. We also carry this stuff. I love it. It works great for literally all material types. And like, I'm not even exaggerating, but this on a PEI sheet, when you have an enclosure, prints ABS great. Now, the other alternative is, which is what I'm printing on now, is a sheet like the Easy Mat. The Easy Mat does not need any adhesives. I'm printing on this without any adhesives, and it will stick the ABS part down really well. And this Easy Mat is just stuck to the rear of a flex plate. And then I just flip it over. That's it. So that's what that's printing on now. Now, if you notice, I also have the enclosure insulated. This is just duct insulation that's adhesive back. So there's a little bit of foam and then metal or foil, whatever you want to call it. And then on the back of that foam is, is, an, is an adhesive. So that allows the temperature to stay higher. You can get away without it, but it doesn't hurt to do it. It's only like 20 bucks extra. Just get some insulation, slap it on the inside of your enclosure. Now, if you're using insulation board, like those rigid pink boards that are eh, usually about this thick, about an inch, you don't need to do that. But if you have a more permanent setup like this, where this machine is always printing ABS, it's all this one does, then this is what I usually do. Now, one thing to notice is that if you want to print PLA on a machine that's enclosed like this, you must leave the door open. If you print PLA on an enclosed machine, the hot end runs too warm and your PLA starts getting soft before it should. So that's the only drawback. This machine only ever prints ABS. That's all this does. That's all its life has been for the last three years. And if you can have multiple machines, I recommend having one for just ABS and other materials that need an enclosure and have one for other stuff that doesn't need an enclosure. I understand not everybody can have two printers, but if you can, this is the best way to do it. Now, the final part of this is your bed temperature. I print at 100 degrees Celsius. So if we look in here and we look at my LCD, we're at 100 degrees Celsius here. So try not to open it. I'm just opening this to show you guys for the video, but you wanna keep this closed because you want to maintain a temperature of 45 to 50 Celsius inside this chamber to prevent drafts and to prevent warping. So if you do all these things, you will be able to print ABS successfully. It is highly recommended to have either an all metal hot end or swap your tubing out for something like our tough tube. If you see here, I have our tough tube on here, um, but I am also running an all metal hot end, but our tough tube is good up to 275C. So it's great for your stock hot end, 
if you want to print ABS, I usually print ABS around 245 C, which is going to tear up your stock white tubing that comes with these printers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. So I hope everybody has a great weekend and as always, happy printing.